Welcome to another presentation of Bimer Art. Our talk today is on 1. Investing basics What are your investment goals? 2. Investing mistakes to avoid. 3. Investment strategy. 4. Why you should invest. 5. The importance of diversification. All right, let us get started. 1. Investing basics What are your investment goals? When it comes to investing, many first-time investors want to jump right in with both feet. Unfortunately, very few of those investors are successful. Investing in anything requires some degree of skill. It is important to remember that few investments are a sure thing there is the risk of losing your money. Before you jump right in, it is better to not only find out more about investing and how it all works, but also to determine what your goals are. What do you hope to achieve with your investments? Will you be funding a college education? Buying a home? Retiring? Before you invest a single penny, really think about what you hope to achieve with that investment. Knowing what your goal is will help you make smarter investment decisions along the way. Too often, people invest money with dreams of becoming rich overnight. This is possible, but it is also rare. It is usually a very bad idea to start investing with hopes of becoming rich overnight. It is safer to invest your money in such a way that it will grow slowly over time and be used for retirement or a child's education. However, if your investment goal is to get rich quick, you should learn as much about high-yield, short-term investing as you possibly can before you invest. You should strongly consider talking to a financial planner before making any investments. Your financial planner can help you determine what type of investing you must do to reach the financial goals that you have set. He or she can give you realistic information as to what kind of returns you can expect and how long it will take to reach your specific goals. Again, remember that investing requires more than calling a broker and telling them that you want to buy stocks or bonds. It takes a certain amount of research and knowledge about the market if you hope to invest successfully. 2. Investing mistakes to avoid. Along the way, you may make a few investing mistakes, however there are big mistakes that you absolutely must avoid if you are to be a successful investor. For instance, the biggest investing mistake that you could ever make is to not invest at all or to put off investing until later. Make your money work for you, even if all you can spare is $20 a week to invest. While not investing at all or putting off investing until later are big mistakes, investing before you are in the financial position to do so is another big mistake. Get your current financial situation in order first and then start investing. Get your credit cleaned up, pay off high interest loans and credit cards, and put at least three months of living expenses in savings. Once this is done, you are ready to start letting your money work for you. Don't invest to get rich quick. That is the riskiest type of investing that there is, and you will more than likely lose. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Instead, invest for the long term and have the patience to weather the storms and allow your money to grow. Only invest for the short term when you know you will need the money in a short amount of time, and then stick with safe investments, such as certificates of deposit. Don't put all of your eggs into one basket. Scatter it around various types of investments for the best returns. Also, don't move your money around too much. Let it ride. Pick your investments carefully, invest your money, and allow it to grow don't panic if the stock drops a few dollars. If the stock is a stable stock, it will go back up. A common mistake that a lot of people make is thinking that their investments in collectibles will really pay off. Again, if this were true, everyone would do it. Don't count on your coke collection or your book collection to pay for your retirement years. Count on investments made with cold hard cash instead.
Investment strategy. Because investing is not a sure thing in most cases, it is much like a game you don't know the outcome until the game has been played and a winner has been declared. Anytime you play almost any type of game, you have a strategy. Investing isn't any different you need an investment strategy. An investment strategy is basically a plan for investing your money in various types of investments that will help you meet your financial goals in a specific amount of time. Each type of investment contains individual investments that you must choose from. A clothing store sells clothes, but those clothes consist of shirts, pants, dresses, skirts, undergarments, etc. The stock market is a type of investment, but it contains different types of stocks, which all contain different companies that you can invest in. If you haven't done your research, it can quickly become very confusing, simply because there are so many different types of investments and individual investments to choose from. This is where your strategy, combined with your risk tolerance and investment style, all come into play. If you are new to investments, work closely with a financial planner before making any investments. They will help you develop an investment strategy that will not only fall within the bounds of your risk tolerance and your investment style, but will also help you achieve your financial goals. Never invest money without having a goal and a strategy for reaching that goal. This is essential. Nobody hands their money over to anyone without knowing what that money is being used for and when they will get it back. If you don't have a goal, a plan, or a strategy, that is essentially what you are doing. Always start with a goal and a strategy for reaching that goal. 4. Why you should invest Investing has become increasingly important over the years as the future of social security benefits becomes unknown. People want to insure their futures, and they know that if they are depending on social security benefits, and in some cases retirement plans, that they may be in for a rude awakening when they no longer have the ability to earn a steady income. Investing is the answer to the unknowns of the future. You may have been saving money in a low interest savings account over the years. Now, you want to see that money grow at a faster pace. Perhaps you've inherited money or realized some other type of windfall, and you need a way to make that money grow. Again, investing is the answer. Investing is also a way of attaining the things that you want, such as a new home, a college education for your children, or expensive toys. Of course, your financial goals will determine what type of investing you do. If you want or need to make a lot of money fast, you would be more interested in higher risk investing, which will give you a larger return in a shorter amount of time. If you are saving for something in the far-off future, such as retirement, you would want to make safer investments that grow over a longer period of time. The overall purpose in investing is to create wealth and security over a period of time. It is important to remember that you will not always be able to earn an income you will eventually want to retire. You also cannot count on the social security system to do what you expect it to do. As we have seen with Enron, you also cannot necessarily depend on your company's retirement plan either. So, again, investing is the key to ensuring your own financial future, but you must make smart investments. 5. The importance of diversification Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. You've probably heard that over and over again throughout your life and when it comes to investing, it is very true. Diversification is the key to successful investing. All successful investors build portfolios that are widely diversified, and you should too. Diversifying your investments might include purchasing various stocks in many different industries. It may include purchasing bonds, investing in money market accounts, or even in some real property. The key is to invest in several different areas not just one. Over time, research has shown that investors who have diversified portfolios usually see more consistent and stable returns on their investments than those who just invest in one thing. By investing in several different markets, you will actually be at less risk also. I got what you need Boy, I know you need a queen Here's exactly what you need It's obvious, no need to fight I see your pain Just step into the light Let me
For instance, if you have invested all of your money in one stock, and that stock takes a significant plunge, you will most likely find that you have lost all of your money. On the other hand, if you have invested in 10 different stocks, and 9 are doing well while 1 plunges, you are still in reasonably good shape. A good diversification will usually include stocks, bonds, real property, and cash. It may take time to diversify your portfolio. Depending on how much you have to initially invest, you may have to start with one type of investment and invest in other areas as time goes by. This is okay, but if you can divide your initial investment funds among various types of investments, you will find that you have a lower risk of losing your money and over time, you will see better returns. Experts also suggest that you spread your investment money evenly among your investments. In other words, if you start with $100,000 to invest, invest $25,000 in stocks, $25,000 in real property, $25,000 in bonds, and put $25,000 in an interest-bearing savings account. This is the end of this presentation of Bimer Art. To continue watching videos like this one, hit the like and subscribe button, and leave a comment below to let us know what you'd like to see next. Do you agree with our list? 1. Investing basics What are your investment goals? 2. Investing mistakes to avoid. 3. Investment strategy. 4. Why you should invest. 5. The importance of diversification. Join the discussion and let us know in the comments what you think. If you'd like help putting these cool ideas to work in your investment ventures, get in touch via the links below, we'd love to help you. No content in this video, regardless of date, should ever be used as a substitute for direct financial advice from your financial advisor or other qualified financiers. Thank you. This is Bimer Art saying thanks, and see you in the next video. Have a great day.